right, we are going for a baseball card pickup. A local guy that I picked up a bunch of stuff from. Uh, I picked up all of those King Griffey Jr. cards that I got uh, about a month ago, maybe a little longer than that. Ton, I think I got 175 Randy Johnson cards. And last time I went over there, I got a ton of Juan Soto rookies, Acuna Jr. rookies, and Shohei Atani rookies. And now I'm going to get, uh, I don't think a lot of cards this time, but we're gonna go pick up some more good rookies. All right, so I went and picked up some cards and this is actually day two and I'm headed over to his house again, um, picking up a lot more cards. This one's gonna be a little better pickup. I'm just gonna put this in one video, both of these pickups. Um, yeah, I spent 20 bucks yesterday and I'm gonna go spend 35 bucks today. Um, today I'm gonna get some pretty good cards. So uh, we'll uh, pick these up, go home and see what we get. All right, it is day two, we are back home, and let's go over what I picked up from this guy. I have bought a ton from this guy before, so if you look at my past videos, I picked up, the first thing I picked up were ton of Griffey rookie cards, tons of them for less than a dollar each. Um, also got 175 Randy Johnson rookie cards uh, for 40 bucks total. Then I went back and I got a ton of Juan Soto rookies, Acuna Jr. rookies, and Shohei Tani rookies, basically for $2 each. Um, gonna send a lot of those in to get graded. Some really good cards. So the day one pickup, I bought these. I wanted to get some, um, actually, let me put these in order. I wanted to, he gave me this free Pete Alonzo. Get some Pete Alonzo cards. And these aren't worth a ton, um, but he, he sold me these for $20 total, Pete Alonzo, and uh, three Boba Shet cards. So I thought, you know what, I mean, might as well try it. 20 bucks. He gave me this one for free, this little mini. Probably not worth anything. Uh, showed up today, and um, I went to go buy some Bryce Harper cards. And actually, Mike Trout. So actually, that's what I bought first. I'll also show this one really quick. Uh, at the end of the our, my purchase today, um, I said, do you have any Bojacks? And he's all, yeah, I have these. So he sold me all of these for five bucks. So there's tons. I'm not going to go through them all, but uh, there's a ton. So I bought those for five bucks. Um, a buddy of mine, Syntex Collector, he has a channel also, bought him this of King Griffey Jr.'s. Not going to go through all these. I'll put his link down below. You can check out what's in here. These were 40 bucks, so I bought those for him. Let's put those inside. And so, let's see. Uh, first thing I bought were these Mike Trout cards. I don't really know what, what's in here. Um... There's 60 cards, and I got these for $10. Um, there's a bunch in here of that card, a bunch of just the base cards, it looks like. 60 cards, those cards are so cool. Um, looks like five or six in there. Looks like about four of those in here. Got a bunch of just random newer stuff. And then in here, a ton. I mean, for 10 bucks, love that card. Oh, I have that one graded. A lot of these are in good condition too. That corner might be a little off. Um, he pulls a lot of these from boxes. That's a cool chrome card. Oh, oh, as I drop some. Luckily, those weren't the older ones. Probably should have put those down a long time ago. Mike Trout, Mike Trout, tons of Mike Trout cards. Again, 60 cards for 10 bucks, could not beat it. So bought those and I asked him if he had any Luis Robert. Those are cool cards. Green Parallel. Again, those are probably not worth anything. Probably got to get them graded to get worth something, but that'll be just for my personal collection. So I asked him if he had any Luis Roberts, and he had these two. Which, this one is crazy going up in price. I just looked right now, and there's bids for the base card, like auctions for like $75 and more. Um, tons of bids. Uh, this graded is like, I don't even know, like, $250, $300. Um, looks like it's in really good condition. I think I looked at it earlier, and was there a corner that was a little messed up? Can't really tell. And it got me this card. So these are actually $10 each. So it was $10, $30 for this and the Mike Trout cards. Couldn't pass that up. And then uh, he had a bunch of Bryce Harper. So I said, well, he was selling these for 10 bucks, 60 cards again. And I said, uh, will you do $5? He said, yep. So I bought a ton, a ton of Bryce Harper cards. Haven't really looked at these. I don't know much about these, but they're like their nickname cards. 
parallel, a green parallel. Ooh, a patch card. That one's cool. That one's nice. So I just recently bought a ton of Mike Trout cards for eight bucks off eBay. I think I bought 71 of them, just newer cards. Nothing worth much. All the like base card and like cheaper insert cards. Let me put these down before I drop them. And not a bad deal. So I spent $35 on just my cards. That's a cool card. I love that card. What year is that? 80, 80, 2018, right? Let me take it off camera so I can see. Yep. Um, really cool card. And just some really great cards in here. Well, that's like a thicker card. Huh. And that one right there. So not bad. Without the... Um, well, actually, I spent 40 bucks of the Bo Jacksons. Um, actually, no, I'm sorry. I spent more than that because I spent 20 bucks here. So I spent 20 bucks on the Pete Alonzo, the Bichette, five bucks on the Bo Jacksons, 20 bucks for these Luis Robert cards, and five bucks on the Harper, 10 bucks on the Mike Trout. Not a bad deal. Most of these will just go into my personal collection. I'll kind of go through them and see if I want to get them graded or. I'm going to start selling some stuff on eBay because I am running out of money and I got to start selling on eBay. Um, anyway, that's the video. Hope you guys liked it. See you around.